Hey guys, this video here is just going to be a walkthrough of my upcoming trip, five nights on the AT, uh, from Irwin, Tennessee to Hot Springs, North Carolina. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through my food that I'm going to be taking on that trip. Now this is 10 pounds worth of food for five nights, uh, so 10, 2 pounds a day. Um, plenty of calories. Uh, I haven't actually calculated it out. I might do that here in this video and let you know. Uh, but it, I've got so, a ton of calories here, a ton of energy, plenty of food and snacks uh, for the trip. So I just wanted to do this video so you guys could see, um, just kind of have a general idea of what I do. Um, I am trying some new stuff out for this trip, uh, but I'm just kind of doing this to, uh, wanted to kind of plan a little bit more for my upcoming hike, a uh, through hike of the AT. So. I'm trying to get most of the food that I could find in your typical grocery store uh, instead of doing more uh, mountain house type products, which I usually get for my two to three night trips from my local REI. So uh, this is all food that I was able to purchase from a typical grocery store. So anything I could find in a small town uh, as I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail. So. I'm going to just lay everything out and walk you through it so you can see. So this is a two pound average, which is usually pretty typical, uh, and plenty of calories to keep you energized, uh, and not, not as much junk food, but hey, when you're hiking long distances, um, all the energy you can get is, is obviously necessary. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay this out and let you take a look at it. Okay, here we are. We have all my food laid out here. This is, uh, like I said earlier, 10 pounds worth of food for five nights. Uh, endless amounts of calories here. Um, I've got this laid out in kind of a per day basis. Um, so there's plenty of calories, plenty of carbs. Um, this is one of my longer trips. I've never really had to carry five nights uh, worth of food. So this is kind of a test run for me. So everything that you see here um, is not exactly perfect for sure, but uh, it's just something that uh, I wanted to test out. Most of the stuff can be easily found at a, at your typical grocery store, um, so that's that's kind of what I was looking to accomplish here. Uh, be able to get stuff at any of the trail towns that I come into. Um, so that's pretty much uh, everything. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I have here. Um, Start off with breakfast. I have these uh, Quaker oatmeal packets. They're maple and brown sugar. Uh, I got one for each day. I've got these dried blueberries here that I plan on just kind of mixing in my oatmeal in the morning. Um, then I have two crunch bars. These are called Cliff Crunches. These things are really great. I like them a lot. Um, they are very, very, very similar to Cliff Bars. Not quite as many calories. Uh, and protein, but still very close. They're more snacky though, I would say. Uh, so that it comes with two uh, little granola bars in each one. So I, I've really, I really like these, and they're cheaper than getting traditional Cliff bars. So um, I find that I've, I've liked those a lot over the years. They've been out with backpacking. I've also got a bag of beef jerky. Uh, here, this is a bag of beef jerky for each day, uh, just a, a teriyaki version of beef jerky. I like to have that just to snack on uh, as a hike or when I get to camp. Uh, and then I also have these energy shots here. I've gotten kind of hooked on these. Uh, these probably I won't be able to find when I'm actually on my through hike, but for this trip, I really enjoy these things. I have one here on the left that has a little shot of caffeine. I'm going to do that in the morning uh, in place of coffee. And then I've got another one here uh, that's caffeine free, that's more organic, that I'll just use uh, during the day, you know, if I, if I feel like I need a little bit more energy. Um, so those are, those are great as well. Um, next, I've got a bag of peanuts, mixed nuts uh, for each day. Um, I bought each one of these different nuts that you see in here separately and then mixed them together. Um, this contains uh, some pistachios, some regular peanuts, and then some sesame seeds. Um, some, I'm sorry, sunflower seeds that have been taken out of the shell. 
So peanuts are great. Uh, I really love eating peanuts uh, when I'm backpacking. Um, they're just really good for you, a lot of calories, and um, so I'm looking forward to having those. I've also got some dark chocolate here, 70% and a 90% uh, dark chocolate. I'm gonna try both those out. I've never taken chocolate on a on hiking or you know on my hikes, but I've read a lot about how dark chocolate um, is really beneficial. Uh, it doesn't melt as easily, um, so I'm gonna try that out and see how I like uh, the two different types here. Um, I've got my olive oil that I talked about earlier in my uh, one of my other videos. I'm just going to plan on adding that to my lunch, which will be these tortillas, which I will put uh, peanut butter uh, on, which I don't have here, but it's just a typical creamy peanut butter with honey, the most calorie-packed peanut butter I could find. Uh, and then also these uh, pepperonis. I'm going to either eat these separate or I'm just going to throw them on there with the peanut butter and tortillas if it doesn't taste too gross. But I read a lot of people like to do that on long distance uh, through hikes. Uh, it's just a lot of calories, carbs, protein, a lot of energy. So I'm going to give that a go on this trip and see how I like it. Uh, last but not least here, I've got my dinners. These are... I didn't picked these out specifically. They were just at my Kroger here locally. Um, just like a creamy, each one is, uh, I've got a couple that are the same and then some different types, but they're just uh, mac and cheese kind of dishes, pastas. Um, lots of calories, lots of carbs. So uh, four servings in each bag. So I plan to have one of those each night, just give me a ton of energy and fuel. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but uh, it's what I'm going to try on this upcoming trip and see how it works. But for five nights to be at two pounds per day worth of food, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to have to worry about losing energy for sure, not with all this stuff. So um, honestly, I'll be lucky to eat it all. So hopefully this has been a, a b informative for you guys out there. If you have any questions, like always, just leave them below. Thanks for watching.